Hey, what's going on? Matt with Entrepreneurship, and in today's training, I want to cover a relatively simple concept in theory, but it's something that can get very complicated if you don't handle it really well. That is the subject of tracking your marketing because if you are going out there and spending a lot of money on marketing, which chances are you probably are, especially in the first couple of years in business, actually, you should be probably doing this every single year to keep growing. But if you're at a point where you want to just stay, at the same level you're at, that's totally fine. But if you're actively spending money on marketing, you need to be doing this and you should really just be doing this in general. And that is just figuring out where your leads are coming from. Now you're probably thinking, great, now I have to go get a $5,000 a month software from salesforce.com to manage this stuff. No, not, you don't have to do that at all. Unless you have 5,000 customers and you have 100,000 customers, or sorry, not customers, but leads that come in every single year. So, you, so that way you can track them. But you definitely don't need to do that. You can do this simply with just your phone or an Excel spreadsheet on your computer or on pen and paper where you just write down the client's name, services they want, and the source of the lead that came in. And then when they call your business or they send an email or if you have a website and if you don't have a website, go watch our course. It's 100% free to just figure out how to build a WordPress site step by step. We even teach you how to go do SEO with it and get it ranking. But then you will have a contact page and form on your site and you need to ask every single client that submits their information on there how they found your company. Google or was it a Facebook ad or was it, uh, what else is there? Uh, you got postcards or door hangers or all the other forms of media that you're using and put it in there. Same thing when they call you. After you ask them all your questions, you need to ask their name, their address, what services they want, all that sort of stuff. You ask them, hey, uh, how, how did you find us? Or you can even go a little more in depth and say, hey, we're just trying to narrow down our efforts on our marketing. Could you tell me where you found us? And nine times out of 10, actually probably 9.9 .9 times out of 10, the clients are going to absolutely love that you ask that, especially if you're someone that's like younger, like under 25, they're going to be just blown away that you're asking that because they're like, whoa, this guy knows what he's talking about. Holy crap. And not only is it really going to impress your clients, and I'm not saying that's going to impress every single client. I mean, sometimes they'll just be like, oh yeah, we found you on Google or whatever. But that also gives you really, really powerful data because then you can figure out what marketing is working and what's not working. Now, let's say you have a budget of 10 grand for the next two months that you're gonna spend on marketing. And this amount doesn't even matter. It could be 20 grand, it could be 200, it could be $2 million. But if your budget is $2 million, you're probably not watching this video. And if you are, sweet, that's awesome that you're watching. Be sure to let me know with a comment down below. So say your budget for the next couple months is, we'll say two months is 10 grand. You're gonna do one postcard campaign for two grand. We'll just generalize and make the math easy. But then you have uh, door hangers for two grand, get them all distributed, printed, all that. Spend two months worth of SEO service with a marketing agency on your website. So there's 2,000 bucks and then another 2,000 on Facebook ads and that is to do the ad spend and all the campaigns and then another 2,000 on Google AdWords and includes managing the campaign and the ad spend that goes along with it. So then you have clients that are now coming into your business because you just distribute a pretty good amount of advertising, especially if your business is pretty small. 10 grand is a good chunk of money to be investing, especially if you're in your first couple of years in, in business when you're only doing maybe a hundred or $200,000 in revenue. But when you have those clients coming in, you're asking them when they call you or they have to submit that information on your website or when they email, you ask them that question or however they are getting your information or however they're submitting their information to you, you are now able to figure out what's working. So if 50% of your leads or 70% of your leads are coming from just your website, not the Google ads or not the Facebook ads, but just your websites, so the SEO is what's working and the postcards that you had mailed out because the people are saying, oh yeah, your postcard came to our house. Then you know that the majority of your leads are coming from those two sources. So it makes more sense to rather than spend more money on the stuff that's not working because you now know that it isn't working and maybe you could change up the ad copy and, and there's a lot of different variables that go with it but we'll keep it simple and for this example we'll just say that you're going to just push more money into those and stop the six thousand dollars on the other forms of media put them into the website seo expand how many cities that you are ranking for with your marketing agency have them start doing doing work with that and then you do more postcards and that design really worked for those specific services. Yes, two months down the road, services are probably a little bit different, but we'll just make this example simple. And then all of a sudden, boom, you know exactly what's working and you can know exactly how much each lead costs that's coming into your business. And that number could be totally different. And I really can't do the math that well on my head because I don't have a big calculator that I'm looking at or anything. But, but anyway, I'm kind of getting off on a rant. The powerful thing and the most important thing that you need to know from this whole video is that when you track what marketing is working and when you're asking your customers how they found you, 
it becomes really, really easy because then you know exactly, okay, they came from the postcards, they came from the door hangers, they came from Craigslist, they came from our website, just searching on Google. We know all these things, now we can put more effort into those things because they're working, and then as more and more customers start coming in, we can test other forms, see if they're working. And that's the beauty with marketing. That's probably one of the things I love about it the most is because when it starts working, you then have more money coming in and you can start testing other forms of marketing and you can just keep testing and then tweaking things. Get, oh, it will change up the ad copy on this particular postcard design and we'll do a different coupon there or we're gonna do just, there's millions of combinations of things that you can do, different designs and all kinds of crazy stuff and I could talk about this stuff for days on end. However, I wanna keep this video as short as possible. So, long story short, ask every single client how they found your business, whether it's from their website, from your website where they're submitting the information, they're sending you an email, or they're walking up to you on the street, then you really know, but, uh, or they're calling you. So make sure you know where your marketing efforts are working. And if they're not working, either change them up so that way, like if it's a Facebook ad, you can change the ad text pretty easily. But if it's a postcard that went out in the mail and it's not getting anything, you, you might need to change some things, maybe change where the postcard's going. The timing of the year can be totally crucial on that. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got for this video. So if you like this kind of training, be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. There'll be a button right here, or maybe even on this side, we'll have to see. But then there'll be definitely a button down below to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna get the list of the 10 biggest mistakes, click here on the screen. There'll be a link down below as well. These will save you hours upon hours of frustration and stress and headaches in your business. And it'll make your business ownership journey a lot simpler. And also be sure to check out our Facebook networking group right here. There'll be a link down below as well. With that said, my name is Matt. Thanks for checking out Entrepreneurship, and we'll see you in the next video.